Hey folks, it's Rithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on the Ravenport map. I'm just taking our truck all the way back home. So we've got two pallets right there. Or, well, empty pallets now for the wool that we used. I think that's the wool. Yes, that is the wool. Unfortunately, with this trailer, this trailer is absolutely wonderful. But unfortunately... It doesn't any longer with, with the update. Um, it doesn't handle part pallets and empty pallets. It won't automatically pick those up. Which, when you drive past your farm and you're picking stuff up, is absolutely fantastic. It's brilliant. Downside to it, though, is that... I'm going to turn those backlights on now. Uh, downside to this, though, is that it also doesn't pick up the empty pallets... From this mod that we're using. Which means that we've still got to manually put those around. Or we've got to put them out some other way. Which would probably be getting a different auto load trailer. Uh, doing it like that. Unless the guy that made it. Alfalfa I think he's called. Um, does another update. And adds it in as an extra um, mode. So that you can pick up empty pallets as well. Now ideally... I'd like him to add in an extra mode because that would be absolutely wonderful. It would allow us to do both of them. Um, if he doesn't, he doesn't. We'll figure something out. But overall, it's really, really good. Overall, I've got zero complaints with this particular trailer. And if we've got to manually do a few of the pallets, um, sort of unloading them, then so be it. You know, It's, it's something that we will work with. Uh, I'm just going to switch that off. Lower that down there. I've got a pallet on there anyway. So I'm going to go to sleep for the night. Now, chickens. I've had a few people putting comments on saying that if you have a rooster with your chickens, uh, they will produce more eggs per thousand liters. Uh, it, it's just generally, it's, it's better. You get more, um, more return. This has been extensively tested by a few people on our Discord server. Uh, Patreon Gracemark has put in a lot of work to this, and also Batstar5. Batstar has a YouTube channel. I believe he does um, some Let's Plays. I'm not sure about that bit. Uh, but he also does time-lapse videos. Um, so you can go and have a look, look him up if you like. Um... He did quite a lot of testing, Petro did quite a lot of testing, and neither of them can come up on anything beyond a little bit of user error. Um, there is no indication that having a rooster gives you any kind of boost whatsoever. I've heard people telling me that you get like nearly um, half as much again if you have a rooster. You, you get far more eggs per thousand litres. Nobody's been able to replicate this, right? We've got zero evidence whatsoever to support the fact that you... Well, to, to support the idea that you might get more eggs coming back for... Um, if, if you've got a rooster in the pen. There's absolutely nothing to support this at all. Unless we've been doing... So, unless something has been going wrong or they, they've been doing something different in their tests. They've tried all kinds of different variables... There is nothing whatsoever at the moment that suggests that there is any kind of bonus at all for using a rooster. So it appears to be purely 100% cosmetic. I could be wrong. They could be wrong. We could all be wrong. And it could be the people in the comments section who are indeed right. But anybody in the comments section that has been telling me that you can get these bonuses... Where are you getting your information from? Is this from personal testing? How accurate were your tests? Did you place in exactly 1,000 litres and then let it all get consumed? See what you got back? Um, you know, th there is a lot of variables and it's very easy to like do a test and um, not account for every variable that can turn up in a test. Uh, Patreo and Batstar have been doing extensive testing on this and have tried all kinds of different um, methods and, and ways of doing it in order to try to make sure they've got the fairest possible testing methods that they can think of that they can come up with. Um, and so I'm, I'm pretty happy that they've managed to cover it pretty conclusively. And at the moment, it really does not look like there is anything at all to suggest 
that you get bonuses from using a rooster. It is purely 100% cosmetic. Um, it also... Okay, it's catching on something there. It also does not look in any way, shape or form like there is any kind of reproduction rate bonus to chickens if you have a rooster in there either. Um, which you'd kind of exp you'd kind of think that there would be, but there th there does not appear to be any kind of boost at all. You don't get more chickens faster if you've got a rooster in the pen. Um, it makes no difference to the breeding rate whatsoever. You just it, it's there and that's that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that's what we've been able to find out so far. If anybody has got any other evidence, if they've been able to find out anything different, and obviously please get in the comment section and let us know um, what research have you done. Um, have you got anywhere that your data is written down? What version of the game were you using, etc., etc.? It would be really great to know if anybody has had anything different to this. Um, or is it just hearsay that you've heard somebody else say on Facebook that... Um, you know, they got this result and you haven't actually tested it yourself. Always test your data. Always test your data. So we, we've had both these people testing this very extensively and this is that is what we found. Um, 1.3 will be coming along soon. Nigel Pipe was testing 1.3 and taking a good look around that one. Uh, he said that on the base game map you can now paint in grass. You can't paint in shrubs. Doesn't appear to have been added in yet, uh, but, you know, maybe it will be. For anybody who is using a modded map, unfortunately, the modders have got to add in the capability of being able to paint in the grass. Uh, there's, there's something else that they've got to add in with the code, I believe. Uh, so it's not available on the modded maps yet. Hopefully it will be at some point in the future when they update their maps. Uh, what updating and, and so on needs to be done, I wouldn't have a clue. I'm not even going to try to guess what might need to be done in order to make that work. Um, I, I, I just don't know. There's just next thing that I want to do is I want to have a look over here. So our chickens, they're coming along really great. Okay, we're going to ignore the chickens. Sheep, they're coming along great. I've got a couple more pallets in. I'll probably get more pallets and put in for those soon. Um, now, Deuce MS and Zorta777 and Tonza are both at 54%. Food is okay-ish at the moment. These are all at 85%. So we've got uh, Windwalker, Michael B, Jamie, Dante, and Patrick all at 85%. $42,500. We will soon be selling that chicken pen down there. The small one with the 100 chickens in it with the rooster as well. Uh, 821 liters of eggs. We're about halfway down on our food now for them. So another couple days and they will be sold. But I've got $230,000. So my $230,000, I would like to spend... I spend a little bit of this money. It's burning a hole in my pocket. I feel it's time to spend. So we could go up here. I can afford some of these fields. I could, I could buy two of those fields. I could buy 14 and 15 together. I don't want to, though. I want to buy that one. That one right there, so that we can extend the chicken farm out this way. That one there, I don't need a track along this half at all. I don't need that. So I'm going to buy that one. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. We've now got another parcel of land. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take this one here. And I want to go and inspect our new parcel of land. We're going to go and drive. Just along this side first. So we're going to need more egg pallets. And uh, so it's more empty egg pallets. Uh, trailers might be handy. I'm thinking that the eggs didn't unload on that lorry over there when we used it. Because they were in... that They were slightly too high. I'm thinking that's the only um, variable on it that would have made a difference. Was the height of them. I don't think there was anything else on it. I think it was just the height. So we've got a tree there that is definitely going to be in the way. And we've got a couple... Well, there's more trees up the top. Generally, I can ignore those. That one might be in the way. So we, we'll go and get those two. I've got in here... Is that wheat ready for harvest or is that withered or what? No, that's ready to harvest. So we've got a field of wheat right there that is ready to harvest. That one's not over there. This field here 
I'm going to chop the straw. I'm not going to bale it. I think that's what I want to do. Actually, no, we want a bit more straw, don't we? We'll get the combine going in a minute. We get, we'll bring the combine up here and we'll put it going in that field. We'll, we'll, we'll chop out that field because that's where our main chicken farm is going to be now. This is where we want to put most of our chickens. So we want to get the combine first up there. And I will bale the straw because we've still got the artisan and the baler. They're both there ready to go. So that's not going to make any difference to anything. So I want to, I want to take you... Lift you up. Which way are we going to go? Let's not... I was going to say let's not drive over the top of that one, but it's a little bit late for that. So let's just ignore what I did there. Uh, we will take this one out and around this way. Like this. And we will head up to that field there with this one. Uh, we've, see, we've only got three pallets for the wool right now. I'd like to have more than that. Um... We're going to get some soon. We will have used up the rest of these egg pallets. And I will disable that mod on this playthrough. And we've just then got the um, the mod that's got sort of the option for the reusable ones. And it's got the visual on it. And I, I really like the visual on it. That's the bit that I particularly enjoy. Um, now this road here, I think this, is, this would be classed as private road. And possibly the bit of the road over here, this is no longer private road. This is public road, but it's it's right in the back of the sticks, okay? So I don't think we need to worry about it. I'll bring that one out there like that. Now, I want to lift that one up like that, and I extend it out like that so that we're just sort of kissing the top of the grain. And we're going to unfold our combine like this. Uh, now, oh yeah, I was going to leave the straw on, wasn't I? What was I doing last? Was I doing bales last? I don't, no, I didn't do any bales last, did I? I chose not to do any bales. We've got... Enable straw swap. Yeah. Right. There's no visual on this comp. Some combines have a visual when you change it over. So I'm just going to press H on there. We're on $27,000 at the moment. I'll let him run down into there. And that's immediately started probably not going to get the greatest yield off of this field because it I don't think it's been fertilized I can check that actually uh, growth fertilizer it needs lime now that one's this one's not been fertilized at all there's nothing at all on that field and it needs lime as well the weeds are switched off the lime on there on that field I'm curious about and oh also we left a strip of fertilizer here it just did a little bit and it turned around it didn't do it properly I'm going to leave that. I'm not going to worry about it. It's another bit that I'm not going to um, do anything about. And actually, I'm going to stop that one a minute. I'll bring you down here. Like that. And I will go like that. And I'm going to run you up this way. Just so as he's got room to turn around. Because that fence there could end up causing us a little bit of a problem. Um, old junkyard there. Uh, yeah, the, the combine might not have quite enough room to turn round on that side of the fence just there. So I'll let him come up to there like that, and then I'll press H, and we'll start working across the top of the field with the hired help. Just across here, there we go. And he's away. So that one can carry on there, and he's going to be just fine. I can ignore him now for a minute. Because what I'm going to do next is this one. We're done with this one for a minute. I'm not going to actually need it for anything else. Because the, the field that we've got over there, I'm not going to worry about like planting it back to grass or anything like that. Um, we'll slowly be doing a bit of landscaping up there that will get rid of a lot of that. Um, so it's, it's not really going to make much difference. Now, we've got... That's the, the weed there. Ooh, steady. Don't go smashing into that water bowl. So whatever we do, we're going to want to keep that. Um, that's the sprayer there. I'm not going to need that for a bit because I've turned the weeds off. And I don't have any liquid fertilizer either. I'm going to leave that one in the shed there. And I'm going to be wanting the baler. But I'm not going to do the baling with this one. I'm going to go and take off this front grab a second. 
And I've got yeah, I've got everything down here. Uh, I want the Brux chipper on this one. Now the Brux, the thing with the Brux chipper, because I've already took back the um, the the lorry, didn't I? Well, no, I've, 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 I took back the trailers for the lorry. So we've now only got this trailer over here. And I'm just wondering. No, there's only two trees that I need to remove at the moment, isn't there? All right, let's 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 ignore that. We, we won't take the trailer with us. We'll do it like this. I, I've got another way of doing this that I want to try. Um, we'll take you and I can pick you up. Steady. We can pick him up. we just got to do it a little bit carefully. we we'll run this one up. So I've got 1,300 litres of wood chips in it at the moment. It will automatically unload to anything that will accept the load if we let it. But I don't want to let it. I'm going to try to avoid letting it do that completely. I'm, I'm going to, um, if at all possible. So I'll unfold the thing. And we come over to here, and it's this tree right here that I want to take. Um, and, but I don't... No, 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 no. I was, I was thinking, actually, we, go and, we can't sell wood chips up here. It doesn't accept wood chips up here. So we'll ignore that bit then. So much for that idea. Um, there. A little bit... Inch it forward. There we go. Right. 44,000... 565 litres of wood chips. And that has taken everything with that one. So hopefully we can now go and put a placeable down there. It's, it's not going to get in the way of anything. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. And it will work just fine. So then we come up here to this one. Now this is where, this is where it gets difficult. Because the stump grinder bit works. But the saw part doesn't work all the time. We seem to have issues with the saw part. Especially when we're at an angle. Like that. Right, that's, that's not let me do anything at the minute. If I bring it down to the lower side, it might help me. It might let me do it from here. Because um, I'm not, I'm, then I'm not kind of cutting at an angle. There, look. But you still got to go so steady with it. There, and slice through. Excellent. Grind that one up. So that's given us 64,000 litres of wood chips on board this thing. And looks like I've got no more room for any more. We'll come back up and we can remove other trees later on. I'm not too concerned about them. We're going to want... Look, I was wanting a, a track to that one. Plus, I was wanting another uh, rear track up the back. So, I'm going to fold this one up. And I'm going to put that one down as well. Uh, so, yeah, I was wanting a track to this one. But then, kind of, I reckon we could just have a turning space around it. Or maybe even just, like, you know, a little bit besides. We don't need that track down there. We don't need that at all. That could all be lowered and leveled. Right? We could remove that. Now, we've currently got $27,000. That's not a great deal when it comes to doing the landscaping, right? It's definitely not enough to be able to buy another chicken pen. We do have a load of eggs on our trailer over here, which is absolutely fantastic. But those pallets aren't full yet. Those pallets have still got quite a bit to go before they are full. They're slowly filling up, mind. You can see every, every time, I think it's every time we log in, it's like picking a different pallet and putting more into them. But they, they are all slowly filling up. And then those two over there, those will be filling up between them as well. And then we've got the little one. So we can sell the little one. We might be able to make a little bit of money out of that. But still, just 27,000, 64,000 litres of wood chips here. It's not worth a great deal. It's certainly not worth running off up the road with it and, and worrying about it like that. I've got a little bit of, oh, actually, yeah. Just thought, we got a load of straw here. I don't need to worry about the straw from the field over there. I'm not going to worry about straw from that field, right in front of us. But maybe I will just, yeah, we, we, we'll carry on with this. Little job right here. Uh, where's my front weight gone? I've been, I, I have a front weight. So, oh, there, I got one there. I don't think that's actually the front weight for this tractor that I was using, but still, it, it'll do. 
Well, use that one for this one and it'll be fine. Nobody will complain. It'll be absolutely wonderful. Now, if we move on over, we want to get the baler and we can go and get that bit going. Um, see, I'm... Right, I, I want to go back to the animals a second. That's fine. We've got plenty of food. We've got plenty of food. Sheep. We've got plenty of food and water for another day. And then horses. We've got food and water for another day as well. So we can easily get another day's worth of production off of all of these animals. You know what? We're going to need this. Oh, no. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I'll do. That's what I want to do. I just want to, I wanted to come and check this one. I'm not going to need a trailer up here at all. This one will do it all by itself in one go. And we can run that wheat back down and the chickens can use it. So you go up through there. I will go back to here. And I will get that baler on. We can go up, we, we'll rush, rush straight up there and we'll get those bales done like that. And just because we haven't done any baling for a couple of days. And then that's all we're going to need to worry about. You know what? I'm actually going to start fast forwarding time. While we run off up the road, we'll start fast forwarding time like this. And we can, there we've got a little bit of a wage payment there. There's our combine. That one's done. I'm on the wrong side of the road for the state, so I, 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 I apologise for that. I'll bring you to there. Go back to the combine like that. Off we go. I'll close you down a minute. There. I'll bring that one out. And all i got to do is... Actually, I was just going to say, I've just got to like put the extender spout out. Um, over the unload point on the um, the silos over there. But no, I don't need to do that. I can just extend it out over here and I can unload it straight into the chicken pens. That's going to be even easier. I got six ton on there. That's not that one. Uh, it's that one. That, no. That is that one. Slowly filling it. Oh yeah, it does show it. It does show it. Okay. That's going to take all of that. At least it'll keep that chicken pen going a little bit longer. And then we're not going to need to worry about any more of it. I'll move the combine back. This is going to be in the way if I leave it here. I'm going to just park it over the road over there. Yeah, this is purely just so that we can expedite things a little bit. Just keep things moving along a little bit faster. I uh, go to you, fold you up. Now, what I've noticed in the past is that it does sometimes seem to throw little tiny bits of straw out of your combine once you fold it up or you stop it and things like that. So stop that one there. It might not because I don't own this bit of land. So it may not do it on that bit, but I have noticed it do that in other places, which is a little bit odd to say the least. But anyway, let's not worry about that. Uh, now I can come on round here and start bailing. Like that. If I go right down the middle, am I going to pick all of it up? I am, actually. Okay, that's a lot quacker. Uh, quacker? Quicker. Uh, it's, it's a lot quicker because at this particular baler, I know that this one does have uh, quite an extended piece out the side. Um, so it is, the pickup for it is actually quite a bit wider than um, the visual on it. Whereas the round baler is completely the opposite. The round baler is really, really, really picky. Another great demand. At, we had a great demand at the sawmill. Right, we made a fortune out of it. 321. That's pretty good going. Uh, right, I've got no other crops that I want to be selling. So I believe that. Um, yeah, the round baler is completely the opposite, and it's the, the actual pickup area is smaller than the baler itself, which makes it really frustrating for when you're trying to use the round baler, because it doesn't pick everything up. Um, and I guess it's... It, it does encourage you to move towards square bales, but I've no idea why they've done that. Absolutely no idea why they've designed the game to sort of push you towards using the square bales rather than round bales. 
there doesn't seem to be any logical reason to sort of trying to push you towards that uh, progression in any way shape or form because there's no other advantage i mean yeah using one of these bailers is definitely faster um but I, I can't see any other positive reason for needing to do that it just seems to be one of those little mysteries that has been added into the game for no apparent reason that i can see but i'm sure there is a reason now, we are up to 5 o'clock in the evening. The grain over there is now ready to harvest. I'm going to wait until the morning before we do that. The animals that we've got at the moment, we don't need to worry about them. They've got at least a day or two worth of food and water and bedding and everything else. We don't need to worry about them. So I will keep the time fast forwarding until 7 p.m. And then we will get... Actually, we'll probably go until 8 p.m. Uh, maybe even maybe even later than that. Stay up all... We, we, well, I was going to say stay up all the night. But no, we won't. We, we, we might stay up half the night. And then get a load of sleep. And the thing that I've noticed about the sleep thing. Is that you can go up to 14 hours of sleep. So I'm wondering. If we don't go to sleep until, say, 9 or 10 o'clock. Can we still get 14 hours of sleep. And sleep until lunchtime the following day. Is that actually a thing that we could do? So I'm very curious about this. This is, a, this is a little test that we're about to do. As soon as we finish bailing, so I'm going to leave it fast forwarding until 10 o'clock. I have now decided it's got to be 10 o'clock. So we'll turn all of our lights on like that. There we go. Light this bad... There, 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 there. I was going to... Uh, light this bad boy up. I was going to say light this baby up, but light this bad boy up. Uh, there's three bales. We have done three... That is four bales right there. We have very limited amount of straw coming off this field. Because, well, we, we knew that the yield was pretty poor. There was no fertilizer and the field needed lime as well. So, yeah, overall, it wasn't in it wasn't doing very well, was it? Um, it's getting darker and darker and darker. And we're, we seem to be slowing down. Mind you, our tractor, it's almost, it's almost out of fuel. And the repair on it is in pretty poor condition as well. I have now got the Workshop Tabber mod installed. It should be working. We're going to go and test it. That's another thing that we're going to do. We've got one more hour and then I will stop fast forwarding time. And we will go to regular time. And then uh, we're going to go over to the Workshop and we're going to test that. Our new Workshop Tabber. Am I going to make one more full bale? I am. That was the last full bale. Of course, now I've got 257 litres of straw in here. You know what that means, don't you? I'm going to have 257 litres um, of straw to start off the next bale. So if I go and do grass or something like that, that, well, it's 300 litres by the time we get this little bit here. Um, wow, okay, 400. I didn't expect it to go that high. Uh, that's now going to translate into uh, an entire bale of straw when we go to the next bit. Which will be a bit of a jolly nuisance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bales. It was hardly worth the effort, was it? Right. No. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I know from the... Um, from the Seasons mod, when we used to use Seasons... If you went past midnight, it wouldn't let you go to sleep, right? You couldn't actually use the sleep function if it went past midnight. Those two pallets there appear to be full now. It's dumping out um, small egg boxes. So we'll keep that in mind. I want to run down here. Now, I can't buy fuel. I don't have anything. Horses sleep at night. Okay. I didn't think, I, I genuinely did not expect that. So we're, we're I've got to keep, leave it running to turn the lights off. There we go, right. Uh, so next we will go over to here. We'll run around this side and there I can repair. Look at this. I'm just pressing tab. That's all I'm pressing is tab on there. So actually the front weight is not coming up available in the workshop at all. Back that bad boy up a minute there look at us all lit up using our workshop at night I like this right 
That's enough of that. And tap, tap. Yes, there we go. Look. Repair that one. Full repair, $7. Next one, repair that one, $1,325. And repair that one right there for $271. Yes. Oh, that was so good. That was so good. We've actually got the workshop tabber and it works beautifully. It works beautifully. Oh, that is something I want. That that what want want wanted. I've I've got it. We've got it at long last. Okay. I can I can only go for ten hours sleep now, so it does limit you to how long you can sleep at in the morning. So that's the latest that we can go to, which is. Nine, just just gone eleven, uh, just gone nine o'clock. Just gone past nine a.m. And we want to have a look at our animals over here. So we've got a load of eggs in there. We got thirty-eight liters of eggs in there because that pen there is done. It's, it's used up the pallets that we had available. You, you got three thousand six hundred. That's that's getting lower. This one here, sixty-six liters of eggs. That means they filled up their final pallet. And right here, I've got 32 there. We're on 64% on those horses right there. Then 95% for Windwalker, Michael B., Jamie, Dante, and Patrick. One more day. I might not bother with one more day. We might just sell all of those horses right now. Well, not right this second because there's other things I want to do. Um, but we could sell all of them. We could buy back a load more. It's going to give us a big chunk of money, which means that we would then be able to go and get more chickens. How much wool have we got up here? We've got one full pallet, and we've got another part pallet in there. That one's underway. Then over there, we've got a mountain of eggs there ready to roll. And then finally, up here on this trailer, I've got one... That is almost full. And then those two, we don't know if they're full. And these are possibly working through it. Um, so like this trailer here. If I, Well, I've got those two pallets at the front. I want those to be used up. That one back there, that one's still filling. But I want those two there to be, to be re, to used up. Okay, so that they're gone completely. These reusable ones... If I can get six of them all squished up at the front so that they're being used. How many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I get six of them squished up so they're being used up there, then the, uh, I could do other another six down here. I'm not really sure. It is a bit unfortunate that we don't have an auto-load feature for these empty pallets. Just for, you know, just just for the speed that it um, does the empty pallets, right? That, that's, that's the bit that I'm thinking about, is how fast it does them and uses them up. Uh, wool at the moment, the price of wool. How are we doing for the price of wool and the price of eggs as well? Eggs are down. They're no good. Wool is down as well. So we don't want to be selling any. Except that we do want to be doing something different here in this particular little spot. So we're going to want to go and get you. The super boom. And, well, those eggs down there. Actually, I'll, I'll grab that one pallet. I will grab that one pallet. I'm still thinking that um, maybe we should just sell the horses today. we we'll grab this pallet here a minute. Yeah. Right, 2,400 litres of eggs. You are done. I will take this pallet up over that. It doesn't matter where I put it. I just want to put it up that way somewhere. Um, it'll take then the full pallet. We'll keep the eggs and the wool separate from here on in. Because of the way that it sells them. And we've also got the... The boxes of eggs that we'll need to deal with. That, no, that, that won't be difficult. We, we, that's, that's not going to be tricky in any way, shape, or form, dealing with the boxes. Uh, the only tricky bit that we've got right now is that we're going to run out of space on this one, and I don't want to run out of space just yet. I want to get more egg pallets, so, uh, but I'm going to deal with that later. So we'll, we'll put that one down there. I'm going to be running out of time in a minute anyway. So let's, let's, let's do this. Let's do this bit right here. We're going to sell these horses first. 
Uh, we were thinking that we were going to let them go all the way to 100, but I don't think we need to. So uh, we've got 47 Patrick over here. It's going to be sold. Dante is going to be sold. Jamie is sold. Michael B. and Windwalker. The other three are not going to be sold. So we get a $1,500 fee in total. We get $236,000 for that. There we go. Uh, we're going to want new horses. That's our first thing that we're going to want in here. So we will go... What have we got? Those three there. We've got a black. We've got a seal brown. And we've got a done. So I will go a grey, a pinto, a palomino, a chestnut, and a bay. Pen capacity reached. Right, so we can have one of every type of horse, or you can have two of every type, obviously, in the bigger pen. Um, so I will buy those for 26500 I now also need to rename all of these horses. This is the time-consuming bit, so let me just do this a minute. Xerxes, this one was called. Absolutely brilliant. I love that name, Xerxes. And this last one is Miss Pelt. That is all of them. So we've now got, alongside Deuce MS, Zorta777 and Tonza, we've now got Charles, Ivelios, Jamie O'Connell, Nigel Pipe and Miss Pelt. These are all people from the Great Book of Names who have contributed to this channel, either financially or gone above and beyond with assisting other people with um, stuff in the comments and, and things like that. Um, they have done more than would be expected for any follower of a channel and have been recognised as such and had their name placed into the Book of Names. Uh, there's details in the description down below. You can go to my website and find out a bit more about the Book of Names or uh, also follow the link to the Discord and you can ask on there. There are plenty of people to tell you different ways to get into the Book of Names um, and maybe even help you out with it if it's a, a dr particular dream of yours. Um, th there are ways and means. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to get more chicken pen so the first thing i want to do is i want to spin that one around like that there we go you spin me right round right round right round baby right round uh you don't own this land i can assure you i do own this land this is my land i bought it collides with an object terrain cannot be deformed now, this is where it's going to get tricky. This collides with an object down here. Saying I don't own the land because of the road, I would guess. Terrain cannot be deformed. That's going to be to do with a tree that was there. Collides with an object. Now, this is the bit that really irritates me, is that it doesn't highlight where the object is, right? Terrain cannot be deformed. Yeah, it'll let me... Right, I'm, I'm sort of looking at this. I mean, I don't own the land. I own all of this. This is my land. I do own this land. I can assure you, I bought the land. Fair and square. Look. Lands. I own it. Everything south of the road is mine. I may have to... Wow, okay, that's an expensive piece up there. Uh, I don't want to go buying that. Right, well, I know that I own the land, so we, 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 we don't need to worry about that too much. Um, let's spin that one around first. And we get it to there. So that collides with an object. Collides with an object... I would guess most likely what we're going to need to do is come out of there and go to the landscaping bit, like this. And we're going to need to find a level area and start sort of working off of there. And the level that I'm thinking to work off of is down here. Terrain cannot be modified here. 
Yeah, I, I, I don't believe that. So if I press both mouse buttons, that allows me to start working in here and bringing it to that height right there. Like that. Terrain cannot be modified here. So then I can go like that and just sort of push that along the edge of there and that will lower it down a bit. It's not wanting me to go too close to the edge of the road here. I mean, overall, it's not too bad. And that's, that's going to be our level there that I want to work to. Why wouldn't it? It's that tree! It is. It's, it's where we have the tree in there. That's what it is. Isn't that where the tree was? Right in that bit there. So it might be that what we've got to do is we've got to sort of run this around a bit like this. Um, take it from that height there. Try and bring that around over here. There's going to be something in there that's causing it still to stick. So it doesn't like it. See, I can... All of this over here, th th this all like, cut back really easily. Really, really simply. I'll bring it down sort of close to the edge of the road here. I'm not too worried about it being... It's, it's raised a little bit there. A little bit. It's, it's not masses, but it is raised a little bit. But we're going to find another piece back here, I suspect. That's going to stop us from being able to place everything down quite like I want. Uh, there's a bit there. Terrain cannot be modified. That's probably where we had another tree in there. But if... I mean, if we can find these terrain can't be modified bits... We might then be able to understand where we can... Because along the edge here, I can understand that. Because of um, the, the edge of the road. But if we can find the other bits, it's going to make our lives a lot easier. It's going to allow us to... Yeah, if I bring all of that back, look. Okay, now I'm spending an absolute fortune on this. I am spending a fortune on this. Right, bring it to there. Don't get too close to that now. Take that one out. And back there like that. So I've got a little bit there. Now down here, I can I can just sort of use this function like this. And use that uh, smoothing function like that. A little bit more smoothing along here. I don't want to get too close to the chicken pen there, if I can help it. There, like that. And a bit more smoothing there. Just just to kind of bring down this edge a little bit. So it's not too rough. Should I decide to go charging off the side of the road right there? It's where it joins the road. That's that's the difficult bit. Because obviously they've, they've kind of like pushed out where the limits of the road are. And so that does make a difference to where you can shape the terrain. And it's also going to make a difference to where we can place a chicken pen. Because having that bit there that we can't do anything with. And also the other bit that we can't do anything with. That's going to make a big difference to what we can do overall. Now I can bring that up there. And we'll obviously we'll be getting rid of the bales in a minute. So, well, actually that'll be in our next episode. We'll be getting rid of the bales. But we will be getting rid of those bales. So that's also going to make a difference. Um, but it's that one lump there, that was from that tree. And then we've got another lump over here from the other tree. So I might in our next episode, just for a, a bit in our next episode, um, use the Place Anywhere mod. Because look, there's another one there. Because what the Place Anywhere mod also does is it allows you to modify the terrain around these humps and lumps that turn up and thus allow you to so i can go there look and i can just smooth that down a little bit just just to give it a bit more of a natural edge on there because even though this isn't great at the moment i still want to 
Yeah, I, st I still want to shape it a bit. I don't want it to be stuck up too much. And then that there. But yeah, what it, it allows you to sort of push it down out of the way. And if it allows you to push it down out of the way, you can then um, sort of expose the last little bit of tree stump that might be under there and get it uncovered. And that does make a big difference. It does really genuinely help a lot for the overall performance of it all. That's all we want to do right there. So I'm now down to $87,000. Let's go back into here into the animal pens. Large chicken coop in there. And I want to turn you round so you're facing that way. Right, so now we can see what it's colliding with. And... Yeah, it's unlikely that we're going to be able to use it here. It's just too close, isn't it? You look at that. It's because of the huge area that these always extend out on the sides. It's just not going to let us do it. It's just going to stay colliding with an object. This, you don't own the land. It's too far out this way. That's too far up there. And then it's colliding with that one. Terrain cannot be deformed right here. And now it's colliding with... In no, hang on. Yeah. I'd be able, You know, I should be able to move it right the way over here. Terrain cannot be deformed. And that's, that's, that's going to be our main issue here. I don't own the land there. Cannot be deformed. And I don't own the land. Collides with an object. That's going to be the bales in the way back there. So it's, it's that bit. I'll have to get the Place Anywhere mod, and we'll see if we can remove it using the Place Anywhere mod and get these down in our next episode. But anyway, we've done that bit for now. We've got the next bit. We've got our new horses. We've done some combining. We've got more land, and we've moved a few bits and pieces around. That's all we've got time for. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.